Uh, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm just going to do a quick teardown on the Unity 233 power clamp meter uh, just to see what its internal build quality is and also take a look at the input protection. Uh, the unit itself is actually claiming CAT4 protection to 300 volts and CAT3 to 600 volts which you kind of expect for something that's going to connect up to three phase uh, make three phase power measurements. Okay, so we'll whip the battery pack out. And then it looks like we've got three screws here. Different screwdriver. One in the top here, and then these two here. Now, the Uni T sometimes have a reasonably good quality build. Oh, not sure what's. Uh... Uh, we're taped up there. Okay, let's pull you out. Let's pull you out. Now we're on the spring that's pushing me over. There's my two other screws. So, yeah, battery connections are on little connectors. Not too bad. And there's a crikey. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so there's the uh, internals of the meter there. I'll see if I can set up and get a closer view of the microprocessors and these uh, chips. There's our input uh, common there, and each input for the phases. You can see there's just a dropper resistor directly off of each input. Uh, yeah, interesting. I've not seen that methodology before. Uh, I can't actually see at the moment any form of input protection other than those three dropper resistors. Okay, let's see if we can get the actual circuit board out. These just. Uh, You out. Then, oh, could be interesting. It's a screw hidden underneath here. So I'm not sure. Okay. That's one part of the clamp. I'll leave the fixed part in, I think. Need to uh, undo each of these, which I need a bigger screwdriver for, unless my flat blade will do it. Ooh. That was surprisingly loose. Hmm, interesting. Nice set of screws in there. So it looks like then we've just got these ones. Okay, so a little plastic shield is held down by this screw. That's quite a nice touch. It's obviously holding something else. Alrighty. Uh, it was holding the uh, 
speaker in. Just hold him by one screw. Okay, so let's uh, zoom her in. So there's the front side of the unit. Uh, the LCD is clipped in. Uh, buttons there. So it looks like proper little switches there as opposed to the copper track with a carbon pad arrangement. Fairly clean inside. It doesn't look to be too many modifications but certainly no input protection on this side of the unit. That just leaves it uh, on this side um, and I can't see an awful lot there. I'm going to have to have a closer look myself. So I've had a good look around the board off camera um, I cannot see any input protection on the device other than these three dropper resistors here. Uh, I don't know if that is sufficient enough for Cat4 protection at 300 volts. Um, usually on those kind of devices I'm used to seeing PTCs and gas discharge tubes uh, but I can't see evidence of any of them in and around your input circuitry up here. Um, the only there's some multiplexers that I've been able to identify uh, around these here. Obviously, we're doing some switching of the analog signals, and then the, the little chip up here is from NXP. It's a PCF8576, and that's the uh, LCD driver. The main chip is underneath the pad here, which is glued on, so I didn't want to remove that. Um, I'd like to try and get the unit back together. In terms of the build of the unit and the soldering, in general it seems to be fairly good. There's no immediate issues, no real bodges on the board that I can make out really. Uh, the soldering all seems fairly good. So in that respect, they're fairly typical of Unity, I would say in my experience of them. They're fairly, usually they're a fairly reasonable build on the units. Whether that's sufficient enough for Cat4 protection, I don't know. I'll perhaps stick a uh, picture of it on the EEV blog and see uh, if anybody there can give me some guidance. So, okay, I'll try and uh, get the unit back together now because uh, I want to do a bit more testing with it alongside the MTR105. Uh, hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And I'll see you again in the next video.